Hello everyone, my name is Mips and welcome to the next game what I would like to introduce you. It's called Hades. Uh, Hades has been in early access since 2018. They released it in 2017 or started working on it. But in 2018 came into the early access on the Steam. It's been there for two years and it was released on the 17th of September 2020 on the Steam as a full game. We control the hero called Zagreus. Um, he's the son of Hades. Alright, I know it's the name of the game is Hades, but from... Here's the thing. If you know that from Greek myth mythology that Hades is both the land of the dead and the god as well. You know, um, Hades the god who in Greek is called as well as Pluto is the brother of Zeus and Poseidon who rule the skies and the seas. And the realm, the realm, the realm where are we is called Hades as well, where he rules with his wife Persephone, as the region under the earth, full of minerals, minerals, wealth, fertility, and home to dead souls. Hades today sometimes uses the polite term of hell. <laughs> so yeah, Hades is as well as the god, as well as the place where we are. So the Zagreus. The son of Hades, he tries to escape from the underworld realm to reach the Mount Olympus. Um, and that's actually where the story re reels itself. So um, as we go, you get some certain point to certain point, then you die, you start again. And again, you start again. It's maybe kind of boring sound like. But every single time you get to a certain point, you actually gather some experience with the game playing And you can unlock weapons, which you can use from the start of the next one. You have some abilities, and of course, the Olympians grant you some help. For some reason, as you, as you will see from the first five minutes of the playing the game, there's lots of Olympians. Um, Zeus, uh, the Poseidon, uh, I met Artemis, is his brother, uh, Ares, Aphrodite. Um, those are the gods who I met actually between, during the gameplay till now and uh, they always grant you some sort of a help uh, in um, not like upgrading your weapons all right you use the Poseidon's help to either some sort of a magical damage or melee damage or dash damage some extra superpowers which uh, helps you during the game so you have to choose which one you use and uh, yeah the whole story reveals as much as you dying as well as you further you getting in the game so it's not just, oh, I, I want to get to the end of the game to find the whole story. You're going to find the story as well when you die. And that's very interesting in the game. So when you die, you start again and you've got the Hades there. You're going to say, oh, yeah, I told you, son, you're not going to do this. You know, and again, you're still trying and stuff for that. So it's really refreshing the game that the games actually find you very entertaining in these worlds. So even if you die, you're like, oh, my God, I died. I'm going to have to do it again. You know. You have those um, communications from the either from your from your father as a Hades, or you can go and pet your dogs, it's the Cerberus, which is quite cool. He always pets one of the head, heads. He haven't touches any of them. But anyway, so um, and each one is a challenge because um, the player through random series of rooms you're going through, pop yeah, they are populated with enemies and rewards which you actually can choose on the beginning of every single next room. You know, sometimes you can have a choice of one, two, or three. And on the door, it says to you uh, which reward you're going to get from that room if you clear that room. So that's a bit of a tactical move as well, which one of your abilities you want to upgrade. Or, you know, you can actually um, gather um, gemstones to upgrade your place where you live because something happens. I don't really want to tell much about the game uh, because... Um, Again, as you play through, you find out more and more about the game and the story. And the story is top notch. On the Steam, has got 92% uh, good uh, feedback. It's really good. I really recommend uh, everybody to give it a go. When you start the game, you start just with one weapon, uh, which is your sword. Um, you got abilities which is like a normal just a dash slash hack with a left mouse button You can have a space bar dash and then hack and you got a, a Q which is like a special attack But this is what you start later on well later on well, it's quite soon in the game actually you can unlock your second weapon 
eight days a bow which you have to use a little bit longer and as much as you use it it just take longer time to pull it back does bigger damage than actually much slower damage and the third weapon uh, what you unlock is the shield you have a shield you can bash actually you can dash through enemies you can actually port quite quickly on the map which is quite a handful and uh, fourth weapon is actually a spear uh long reach much slower but as well really uh, different style right, of fight and this is again really interesting about the game that the three four different weapons what you unlock quite, quite soon in the game there are four different play style in the game as well you know that with the, with the sword you're gonna do just a small damage but it will be much quicker with the shield you can bash or dash through the enemies you know you have to time uh, where you're gonna end up landing the, because if you hold the mouse button for I don't know a one and a half second you can see uh, on the map that you're not gonna dash as far as you when you hold it for two seconds so and um, you can pick up an ability which if you bash an enemy towards the wall you do like a 300 percent more damage so if you plan your attack well then with one hit with one dash you can actually destroy the enemy which is pretty cool and that's when the gameplay comes into play uh, you know really pretty enjoyable you literally going through these enemies like a knife through the butter um, again, the de ranged enemy is a ranged uh, weapon as the um, bow. You you have to literally dash away from the enemy so they don't hit you because um, that's going to kill you quite a lot of time. Again, um, ability depends on what you're picking up in the game, but different playstyle for every single weapon. Have a look how other streamers do, how do it look like, maybe it's something for you, then you know really worth to try it if you're gonna put you down into the chair for a few hours and i haven't finished the game yet but i heard that even if you finish the game you're gonna want to start it all over again because this finish is like oh my god really I want to do it. so i'm really hoping i'm gonna be able to get there as soon as possible so uh, yeah i might gonna do a couple of streams as well from the game so yeah if you like what you see don't forget to leave a, a thumb up and uh, and and some subscription if you haven't done it so far please that would be much much appreciated and i will hopefully see you next time all right bye bye